what's up guys it's your boy little mickey in the building once more and right now we're going to be talking about why are female dancehall artists embracing the lgbt culture right now in recent years we have seen where various female artists come out and you know they're embracing the culture of you know the lgbt movement and all of that now this movement is not a new movement this movement um it exists in the in america is a big movement however right in which they try to put it in various children's tv shows and you know they even have their own kind of music right geared towards that now for persons now if you aren't familiar with the culture of jamaica the culture of jamaica doesn't um doesn't take lightly these kind of same sex um promotions right normally this is how the culture of jamaica functions right the culture of jamaica earns fire on same sex um promotions and all those kind of things right so if if there's a particular project or a particular movie or whatever that has something has to do with same sex and so on majority of jamaicans they would either skip out that part or they just don't watch the project in all they just completely don't watch the project right they completely don't deal with that right so that is the culture of jamaica right but in recent years we are seeing where there has been a surge in america where you know these things have been accepted and you know it's it's in the mainstream media now first time it was never cool right for these things to be in the media and it wasn't cool for certain men to be acting like women it wasn't cool for certain men to be wearing dress and so on right but nowadays it is quote unquote cool for these men grown men or grown women to be men acting like women and women acting like man right it is it is customary it has become a part of their culture are they putting it in the culture now being that this there's such an influx in america regarding the lgbt movement yo jamaica as a country majority of things that america does sadly jamaica tries to adapt right now as i said before this has existed in america a long time now but in recent years it has gotten much more serious it's like they're up their game now right so we find out we are jamaican artists they're coming out and they're more embracing the culture of that right now i'm not saying that these persons uh, may not identify as um part of that community for a long time I'm not saying that because you have persons who identify as that particular community but they just don't come out now these artists they're basically coming out you know and being bold in the culture right and it is it has to do with the acceptance right persons they look on it like yo you know jamaican music not getting me anywhere so guess what happened now i am going to embrace the lgbt code culture and community and see if i can get more fame that is what i think it is i think that a majority of persons who claim quote unquote claim to be embracing the lgbt culture they're liars right many of these artists they're liars many of them they don't even they don't even understand the movement they don't even care many of them it is because of clout, the clout that is behind it, right? The international clout that is behind someone coming out as a homosexual or something, right? Or a lesbian, right? The clout that is behind it allows many people certain benefits in this world as it is right now, right? So many of these artists, they come out and say certain things 
they're expecting something in return remember when it was not cool everybody shut their mouths right when it was not quote unquote cool to the international world for somebody to identify as a member of the lgbt community everybody shut their mouth no one know that it is quote unquote cool for people act to open identify you find that jamaican persons are openly sharing that yo i am a part of this community and this that that that, that. right no <laughs> The thing is, since these artists have come out and said that, you know, they are part of this... Well, they didn't openly say that they are part of the community. So some of them said that they like girls and some of them, they have it in their music videos, right? Now that they have openly come out and, you know, embraced it in their music videos and so on. Well, there hasn't been any change really in their um popularity i haven't really seen a spike in their um in the numbers that they're selling um so I, i'm not sure what they're going for but i know that it is worldwide acceptance that they're going for right jamaica has become a place in which um jamaica's identity jamaica's core identity that it used to have that identity is going away right as we have seen persons are adapting to the new wave the new world the new everything right and as you have seen in the real world the new world the new world does not look great by the way it's basically a deconstruction of it's a social deconstruction of humanity that is what i would call it right because they've been teaching these things in schools right teaching the youngsters to come out as this teaching the young youths to transition from their youths right that it's a deconstruction so they go into the fundamental stage and they're deconstructing it right and tearing it down and building it up back their way right no i keep on saying this you know and i don't think that many people understand right i think that this whole world is caught in a genjutsu <laughs> for those persons who don't understand me you probably do not watch naruto but a genjutsu is basically a technique that puts you in a hypnotic state right it is able to hypnotize you and make you um react a certain way in which the the person who cast the genjutsu on you intended you to react right so for instance if a genjutsu has been cast um for persons to become members of the lgbt persons who are easily um who are lightheaded right persons who are lightheaded are easy to get caught or they're they're they didn't have up a defense at the moment then they would be get caught right so the world has recently or uh, for some time now they've been working on this genjutsu now and they they've basically perfected to a certain um sense in which they have gotten so much power to put their things in the media in the children's shows and in even in elementary schools overseas so this genjutsu is is very big right so it is no surprise that it's it is affecting jamaicans right because at this moment jamaicans they don't stand together they don't stand for anything right now this culture is just going to seep its way into jamaica i'm not sure what it holds for the future of the music because majority of the persons that you would expect to say something to stand up like how they used to stand up they're not standing up because they realize that um the gatekeepers nowadays are prominent in the lgbt community and they can really put a damper on you know their their reach right they can really put a damper on their pocket so everybody is just quiet right what i think 
I think that um, Jamaica as a country should just try to do their own thing, right? Don't try to follow any culture, right? Because when you do that, it, it makes you seem like you're a sellout, right? Everybody is just trying to do their own thing, trying to just grab fame. Even when they're rich, they're trying to get richer, right? By selling themselves to actually gain the world. Yeah, man. So, I don't think that these artists, I don't think that many of them are genuine. They're just doing it for the clout and the attention that comes with it, right? They're doing it to actually get more attention and get more privilege and benefits that come with identifying as somebody who, you know, accepts the LGBT community or is a part of the LGBT community. But I don't know what the future of dance are holds if um, we are on such shaky grounds, you know, but it's worth looking out for, right? To see what is going to happen. Because if these things are allowed to take place in dance hall, you know, <laughs> It might become a circus, to be honest. Yeah, man. So this was what I had to say in this video. If you like what I had to say, please make sure you comment in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. This was your boy, Mickey Talking. And I'm out.